Grab the feet to strengthen the kidneys is one of the moves from the um, eight pieces of brocade that probably has the most variation to it, at least the most that I've seen. The exercise that we're gonna do is the one that makes the most sense to me out of the ones that I've learned and out of the variations that I've seen. This is the one that seems to really do a good job of focusing your body's movement onto the kidney area to really massage the kidneys, to really strengthen and help keep your kidneys healthy and um, help regulate the, your body's energy flow to your kidneys. So as you're doing this, remember that as we're bending over in this portion, we're not bending over to stretch our hamstrings. So it's not a straight back when you come over, like you're stretching your, your legs and you're trying to stretch the hamstrings. What you wanna do is round the back so that the majority of the bend in your back is right where the kidneys are. And if you aren't sure where your kidneys are, the easiest way to find them is the bottom of your rib cage. About half of your kidneys is up under the rib cage and about half of it hangs out under the rib cage. So right there where the rib cage ends, that's where your kidneys are. And as you bend forward, if you focus the bend of your back on that area, then as you do your twisting motion, it'll really help squeeze and massage those kidneys to help keep good circulation flow to them and help work out any toxins that may be building up there. For the first part of this exercise, it starts as usual, feet about shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, erect torso, relaxed. As you inhale, your hands circle up over your head, and as you exhale, the hands come down in front and you begin to round your back, focusing the bend of the back on the kidneys. Once you're here, you twist your torso from side to side. So it's like you're pulling one arm up and pushing one arm down toward the floor. But instead of doing it with the arms, you do it by twisting your torso here. So as you can see here, this tightens up this side and stretches out this side. And then you twist to the other side. And you twist again. And you can do this twist as often, or as many times rather, as you want. There's no real set number. We usually do it about four times. After that, you place your hands on your feet. And you want to make sure you don't start straightening out your back here. You want to keep that same rounded back so that the kidneys are still the focus of the curve of the back. Then you push your hips to one side and as you do that, you stretch the back. And then your hips come back to center and you push to the other side, again stretching the back. Then you go back and forth as many times as you want. And when you're done, you come up inhaling, then you exhale, and you start it all over again. So you come down, rounding the back so the kidneys are the focus of the bend in the spine. Twist from side to side, nice and slow, breathing naturally. Just massaging the kidneys. Hands on your feet. Shift the hips to one side. This helps stretch the outside of the hip here, the inside of this leg, and stretch the kidneys, stretching the back. And you do this as many times as you feel you need to. And when you've gone through that set as many times as you want, then you would inhale, rounding up, and exhale at the top, relaxing the shoulders. So from here, starting a nice relaxed stance, slight bend in my knees, inhale as the hands come up, and exhale, rounding forward. Now, for the majority of the form, we keep our knees slightly bent. For this part, it's okay if you straighten your legs as you're bending forward. But only if that's comfortable for you. From here, it's twist, and twist, back and forth. Then you place your hands down on the feet and you shift from side to side.
and you return to center and when you're all done you just round up and exhale however if I wanted to do another one from here I would inhale up and this would set me up for my next repetition here and then after I went through all my moves as many times as I wanted that's where you would finish rounding up and exhale off the top now for some people reaching all the way down to the feet is just not going to happen um, flexibility isn't there or it's a little too strenuous on the back there is a variation for this um, there's several ways that you can change it around to make it a little easier on you and really the most important thing is to get that massage at the kidneys as you do this so if bending that far is uncomfortable it's totally okay when you come here to come forward and just round the back as far as is comfortable even if it's here and you're twisting from side to side still focusing on that spot on the back you don't have to come all the way down here to do this here you'll probably feel a little bit more but if that's not comfortable and if you don't feel that safe for your body just come here and twist side to side and then if instead of putting your hands down on your feet you can either put them on your knees to shift the hips and as you shift twist the torso to massage the kidneys or you can even put your hands on your hips and come here as you do that so you don't have to go down super low with this one I'll show those variations to you from the front also so from here you exhale and you just round as far as is comfortable wherever that is that's where you start twisting to massage those kidneys and then from there you can either put your hands on your knees if they don't want to go all the way to the to the feet and you just twist shifting from one side to the other so notice how I'm still twisting my torso to massage the kidney but I'm also shifting from side to side to help loosen up the hips here and here or if that's even too much you can just go to the hips with the hands round the back and shift and shift so it's really up to you as far as the level of intensity that you want to have um, present in this move so play with it see which one works best for you and remember that one for when we start doing the videos where you guys could follow along and do that variation do what's what feels best for you in the videos where you follow along I do this one where I come all the way to here and then go all the way to the feet please don't feel like you have to do that when you're watching those videos keep it safe keep it up high if you need to and keep it up high here so that one's really up to you